Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So we're back here with another account review. Today I'm with Thanatos, and he has actually ha some questions about um, raising his monsters to six stars. He's relatively, um, you know, progressed to towards the mid game, and he's going to be asking some progression questions. I think this will be very, very helpful to you guys. Um, so, yo, what what do you need help on? Um, Hello, uh, I just need some help with my energy. How much energy I need to get to take a lot of money and then transforming this money to my astronauts. All right. Uh, well, with a with a pretty quick look at your monsters, I think you have some. Uh, you have a mix of some decent monsters. Uh, like your your nat fives are pretty good. You have the water Persephone. You have yes. the uh, Wood Artemis. She's actually very, very nice as well. Um, there, there's there's a few. Uh, early on, you can kind of use Water Indra as a uh, as a, as a monster that you use to farm like Golem's BA. So, what are you using currently to farm Golem's BA right now? My BA team is this this Indra, uh -huh. the Water Yaksha. My Persephone and water Miho up there, up there. Oh, nice. All right, water Miho. Uh, wait, how did you jump her? Defense. Uh, no, no, no. It's just I don't get any uh, triangles, oh, triangle I gems. See. They hard to me. I don't get a, a good team for B nine. So. Mm. Triangle gems is get me. Well, hard. if you if you want to use the valor set since you have the two, um, you already have two valor four star gems here. You can just go to Star Sanctuary. I think Star Sanctuary still drops valor, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah, you can go to Star Sanctuary and you just you farm a few times. Um, you should be able to. I've never seen this icon before. I have no idea what this is. Yes, this is from this today's update. Upload. Oh yeah, it's yes. Yeah, it still drops valor, so you can get valor. You can you can, you just farm the stage a few times, put in a random like triangle valor, and then you'll have a lot of attack on that Miho. This will work temporarily for uh, for for like a little while while you're while you're still farming um, while you're still farming B eight. Uh, no, she. I, I think I cannot complain. This she is very reliable. She none of this none of these guys die. Uh, I don't think it's reliability right now because you. Uh, you you talk about how you you don't get gold like you're you have you're having gold issues. Uh, yeah, it's the, very hard. The the thing is like if you're a free to play player in the game like uh, I assume you haven't really spent a lot of money. Uh, if you're a free-to-play player, the, and, mm -hmm. uh, just you, the thirty pack, the thirty-day pack. Oh yeah, the thirty-day pack. I guess that's all right. Um, but yeah, you're basically like you're near free-to-play. You haven't really, you haven't spent any money at all. Uh, you wanna, you wanna first of all, you want to make sure your efficiency is high enough because if you, um, I think you you're interested in like doing Heroes Festival whenever it comes around to summon, right? I guess that's why you're saving the Astro Gems. Yes, I, I assume. Yes, mostly. Um, but at the same time, you also want to progress, right? You want to yes. be able to eventually start farming like B10 and stuff like that. Uh, yes. The 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 tip I can tell you is you you can make your teams more efficient. You you make your B8 team faster. If you can farm B8 faster, it means that you get more runs in, right? And while yes. you, while you're farming B8, you're converting your uh, your energy into gold, right? You take your energy, you refill with your Astro Gem, and then you get energy, and then you turn your energy into gold um, by selling the gems that you get from B8. You repeat this process, and then you just um, the faster this process goes. The more gold that you'll get, right? Correct. Right. And I you, see your uh, sliming videos. Yeah, you, you you know how to slime, right? You also know how to convert the gold right. back into astro gems. So what I'm trying to yes. say is, if if you can make this process faster, 
it means that you'll also get more gold. You'll get more profit over time. Yes. So, uh, Another, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, ask your question. Uh, I'm really in doubt how much gems I need to energy, and with this energy, how much energy I use for farming B8, example, okay. farming B8, and sliming to get back my, my Astro Gems. That's one uh, question I has made myself. I, uh, there was a video I made a long, long time ago. It was about, I did the math. Um, first of all, I did I did a few test runs myself. It was it wasn't it wasn't a lot because I really only did like ten runs and I recorded like all the profit I got down. Um, but there was actually someone on Reddit that that recorded his uh, his profit through a thousand runs, and basically I think it was that he was able to get he was able to get I think ten thousand gold a run on average um, in B eight. Which, which means that you basically, like, if I want to simplify the math, I'll find you the video after we, we finish this. Um, and I can also link this in the description for anyone watching. But uh, basically, uh, after I did the math, you make about a 10% profit every single time that you do the conversion. So every time that you spend, um, you know, 330,000 gold equals equals 100 astrogems, right? Yes. Um a lot of people say that oh wait there's a there's a cost to sliming you go, you can go in and uh, if you if you do sliming then you know there's a there's a cost for energy you have to like get energy to go in and then the astro ships cost gold like they cost 500 gold each but a lot of people don't know that there's actually a quest that gives um, gold back after you catch a number of slimes like a, a number of a certain monsters and this is like a infinitely repeatable quest it's an infinitely repeatable capture quest now this is in uh, this is in Portuguese, so I can't read this. But I, if you look down in, in your own um, quest, you'll you'll find one for sliming, and it basically like this quest. It it won't completely cover the cost of sliming, but if you um, reduce you know, my lost, to reduce my lost. At yeah, least. It's, it'll reduce your lost, and um, you don't exactly make 10 percent you actually make a little bit more than 10 percent every time you're doing that so although the gold uh like like the the gold that you're you're losing from sliming is like extremely low it's like it's it's pretty negligible like you don't even need really need to care about how much gold you're losing like actually doing sliming um it's it's barely anything you know to be concerned about so um yeah, basically, three hundred and thirty thousand gold is is a uh, is like a hundred is a hundred astro gems, or you can say a million gold is three hundred astro gems, and every time you do a conversion, so every time you convert three hundred and thirty thousand gold back into a hundred astro gems, um, you make about a ten percent profit every time if you're doing doing golems B eight. Yes. Uh, another thing I would like to question is, to, is for a more reliable thing because I am using right now, as you can, you can oh. see, I use my Indra, my, my Indra, sorry, my Shiva, Shiva. Uh, Arthur, I'm putting uh, Miho Fire as leader. Uh -huh. And using Cupid for oh, Cupid for your healer. Like, yeah. Alright, uh, my recommendation is actually not to use these monsters. My my recommendation for a B9 team would be to use Shiva, Artemis, uh, Odin, and Wildfang. The, the reason why you use these four is because these three monsters, they have self-sustain. And B... B9, the um, the boss is, is wood, right? So fire yes. has elemental advantage against wood, and wood is, is neutral against wood. So they, they don't have elemental disadvantage. Um, plus the other two thing is these all, th all four of these monsters have some sort of heal for themselves. The Shiva is very tanky, and he has a team heal for everyone. Um, the Artemis also has a team heal when she nukes. The, the Odin has a self-heal on her first skill, plus she has an armor break, and the 
Golem B9 boss is a defender type. So if you put um, armor break on him, he's gonna he's gonna um, get taken down a lot faster as well. And uh, the Wild Fang also has two self sustain skills. So these are all very very nice monsters for 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 running B9. Um, however, you also will need to invest a lot lot of uh, a lot of gold eventually into into raising them because you know it's gonna it's gonna take a while. Um, Another shortcut you can do if you don't want to farm too much B9, because I don't really recommend like farming a, a ton of B9, um, is to basically you you still use an okay team, but like like you would use a team that you would use for B10, but instead of uh, instead of like raising these teams these monsters specifically for b9 you raise the monsters that you would use for b10 now it won't be as if as, as efficient or it won't be as reliable as raising these monsters for b9 however you will you will not have to raise um you know more monsters to do that because you know if you raise a wild thing or you raise um some people like like Odin. I mean, I guess if you Evo three, she's pretty good. If you Evo three or Wild Thing, she's okay, but she doesn't really do that much late game. So if you raise her to six stars after you finish B nine, and then you're no longer farming B nine anymore, you're full time farming B ten. She kind of becomes useless. Like she has no use at all. Um, so I was thinking you can do something like you you raise your Light Victoria instead because this this monster you're definitely going to be using for B ten. She's going to be very very good. Um, I'm trying to get to uh, Evo, Evo Tree. It's I'm farming this this week. I started to farming to mm -hmm. farming to get my in the fusion. Your your B10 team should be pretty easy to build because you have a water Persephone. Uh, you also have you know like Victoria, who everybody has. Uh, you also have a water Miho, which will be very good for sapping. And for your last unit, you can use something that can help you clear the waves, um, or you can run another another sapper on like full, full, uh, full attack or something like that. Um, I was I thinking. I don't know if I have another sap. Even if not, I need to rise him, I don't know if I have another good sapper. Let me let me see these monsters. Do they have good slots? Alright, you're gonna have to scratch her, although she's really good. Um, the double triangle is gonna gonna make her a lot harder to gem. You right. can look into the into the the bank. I have some usage. Alright. <laughs> no, some some uh uh astromons. Oh some astromons. Alright, you're you're your gem quality is not very high. Um, that's 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 all I can say right now. But it's all right. It's it's fine for now. Um, oh, you actually have a bunch of random nav fives. I just put them here because I don't need them right now. So I'm focusing. I'm gonna have to check if this one has a if this one has good gem gem slots. If she does, then I would okay. recommend using her. Uh, who else would be usable? I guess these are the only attacker types. She's a very, very good nuker because she has double hunter. She, if she ha mm -hmm. has a square, it'll be. Oh, she have a square. Don't get. Ho <laughs> Don't hopefully, have a good enough. Hopefully, it's not double triangle. All right, she has one of each. Actually, she could be usable. Hmm. Just don't get, have good gems like at all my gems are the best because I farm B8 a lot but the all other right. types uh, are really shitty hmm. alright uh, let me think what about her she doesn't need any triangle so that's that's very very good already let me let me count the number of triangles you need if you want to make this team. All right, I get I get this one on a box. It's PV so HP. This is health. PV is health, right? PV. Yes, it is. She she is full 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 uh, HP. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is uh this is actually pretty good. 
Okay, so here's what you need to do. Uh, you're going to build some units that you will be using for B10. However, okay. um, you're going to maybe have to farm B9 for a little bit, but you will use a team that isn't as effective, but still pretty good. Uh, so I was thinking you can use your, your Persephone, uh, Victoria, the Amyoji, and the, uh, the the Miho. So now you only you only actually need um, you actually only need three s or two more square gems because she doesn't. I mean triangle. She doesn't need any triangle. Your Victoria doesn't have any triangle, right? Only your Miho right. has one triangle, and your uh, your Amyoji has has another one. Has an has one triangle here. And your B seventeen, you should be able to farm B seven pretty easy, I assume. Yes. Um, Eight and B seven, it's relatively easy. Sometimes, sometimes I get all killed, but it's rare. It's rare when I get this. Okay. Uh, let me see, let me think. Okay, so here's what you should do. Actually, you should make your um, you should make your B eighteen faster. Um, by actually putting her in because she's a very nice nuker she's very very high attack if you can make sure you gleam her all the way next mm. like just make her evil too if you can um, yes my yeah my plans for this week is get a glam to evolve artemis and then my I was think I was thinking to use all my energy to get Victoria to Evo three, the fastest possible. Yeah, that 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 sounds like a pretty good idea as well. Um, however, she does actually need much better gems at the same time. All right. Uh, I think another another problem that you're that actually is a pretty it, it might hurt you a bit <laughs> is you like to use gem sets you see everything is in a set yes i i i love to put this in a set because i the set bonus is it's too good for for me it's it's pretty Normal. good when you're using four star gems but once you're using like six star gems um the set bonus is not no longer like as good but then sets still become important when you're when you reach like the very very late game because when you're at the very late game you're like just a few percent of uh, bonus stats basically like you know s separate the difference between between like a, a win or a lose sometimes in PvP you know so uh, like I I don't think set is too is going to be too important once you're once you're building for B10. Don't try to put all your monsters in sets. As long as they have like decent substats, it's fine. You really only need three stats for for B10. Resist actually does not matter. Like in B10, resist doesn't matter at all. Like the the uh, the golem has a silence, a attack down, and then he has his defense down, but he only uses it when he's at, at like thirty percent HP, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he only uses his defense down when he's like very very low. It's like his uh. His little animation that he does right before he dies. He only uses his defense down then. So he his main attack it has an attack down, but it doesn't matter because you're you're gonna be killing him with saps anyways. So uh him putting attack down on your monsters doesn't really uh doesn't really affect anything too much. Um him putting silence on your units won't won't affect you at all because you're using a passive healer, you're using water persephone. So it doesn't matter if he silences you. Like you're 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 not gonna have any trouble, um, and the defense down. I think once he uses that, he's pretty much gonna be almost dead anyway. So it doesn't matter. Like resistance is not important in in Golem's B10. Um. So when you're building for B10, when you're building your units, like when you're trying to gem up your units for B10, don't try to put them on sets because it's gonna be very very hard to do that. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, it's m more likely I use more the sets because I am really unlucky to get good quality gems. Getting oh. a six star with no recovery is like a oh, miracle. Oh. You, you don't have to worry about that because 
um, right now you're at the stage where you don't you can't really afford to worry about substats. You're not gonna have if you want to progress fast. I'm talking about like, you know, like in in two weeks get to st start farming gold and speed ten or something like that. If you want to do that, um, a very easy way is to first of all you need to raise all the right monsters and second of all if you just focus on the main stat stat of your monsters it's actually enough you don't really need to focus on the uh the substats pretty much at all you don't need a set you don't need a substat like you can put this victoria on three deep like a six star three six star defense gems on a on a broken set and they can have like the shittiest substats they can have like flat recovery percent recovery you know like flat flat uh attack and like you know crit damage or some shit like that uh it, it can be pretty it can be pretty shitty um but you know she would still she would still work and she would still be able to solo tank b10 with the water persephone healing her um if you have her at evil three so that's what that's actually something that that you can uh you can keep in mind as well put that on the list just it doesn't matter and this goes to, this goes to say for all your units it does not just her if you just put your miho on like three attack gems on any set like any broken set it doesn't matter and it doesn't matter what the substats are because she you only need like a little bit of extra damage on her anyways she's not going to get hit on the level first of all um the golem might put some damage on her but she's also balanced type so she's also relatively tanky you know just just with her base stats at at six stars evil three she's relatively tanky um so she, you you don't really need to worry too much about her dying either and the same can be said for amyoji once you get her to uh to evil two um during the level if you have a light unit you know how the ai works right the dark units will always attack the light ones yes i i get it i know that part yeah, so these other guys will never get hit. So it doesn't matter how much HP, how much defense these these monsters have. Like it doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters on the, on her is her um, crit crit rate and attack. That's pretty much it. You don't even need to worry too much about crit damage. It's gonna be not really uh that much of a bonus because she already has like fifty percent here and fifty percent base. So basically, you just get high crit on her. Um, not even like, you don't even need super high crit, you just need like a 6 star crit rate gem, and just like 2 random attack gems, she'll have, she'll already have a base of 64% crit, and if you can, can get, if you can get a few substats on those crit rate gems, like if you can get, um, just like one roll, which is like around 7% on average, uh, maybe 6.5, I'll say, say 6.5 6 to 7, um, if you get 6.5 on one, you get 7% on the other, that's already... That's already like uh, 60. Fuck, my math is so fucking bad. Uh, like that's already 77.5. Like 77.5 is already pretty high, and it doesn't even matter because she'll have very high attack anyways. So even if she doesn't crit, uh, she'll so she'll still be doing decent damage. She doesn't need to like always crit. You know, it would be nice if she's always critting, but. You know, to for for right now, while you're still progressing, you don't need to worry too much about it. You just need to, you just need to basically get make sure all her gems are six stars. Even if the two attack gems have no crit at all, it doesn't matter. Just as long as they're six star gems. Uh, oh. This Omnyoji is, is squares a lot. Can you? I want to see. Oh, it's already. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, this is a crit rate. I tried to get. Yeah, uh, I tried to get really hard a crit rate gem for this one okay. when I see her. If you if you already have this gem, that's that's that. This is a godsend actually. This is perfect, because and this even has has six percent attack, so it's actually pretty good, and it still has two more rolls, so it can actually go into attack. It has a bit of HP, which will be nice for her. Um, you know, basically, the only three stats that matter in Golem's B10 are attack, HP, and defense. That's it. Nothing else matters. Resist doesn't matter. Um, only for her, crit matters. But like, you know, on most in most cases, crit doesn't matter either. Just nothing matters besides those three stats. So this this has like attack, it has HP. Uh, the resist is also nice. It's not it's not too bad. So I guess she's gonna be she's pretty good. 
this gem is is not maxed yet because it's uh, it, the cost is still more, too much high for now. Just just before this this factor, that this gem is not maxed out yet. This one also has attack or has crit. It's an attack gem with crit. Uh, you can actually go into B7, spend a little bit bit of time in B7s because you you definitely need to, but uh you know like you definitely need like six star gems on Victoria. It's very very important. She out of like all the monsters in in your whole team, I think she's the most important because if she's not tanky, she's gonna die to the waves. You know, so she needs to be she she needs to have like three six star defense gems to make sure she's tanky you know uh persephone is also somewhat important because she's she's the one keeping your whole entire team alive but you already have a triangle hp here and on a life set yes. so it doesn't it's, it's also already very very good um and then these these gems you could use the five star gem you could also you know while you're farming b7 if you happen to find a six star um hp life gem then replace the Replace this one, you know. Okay. Uh, how should I say this? If if your monsters are on a broken set, make sure they're all six stars. Like all the gems are six star. Make sure all the gems are six star. If they have, if they have a, uh, if they have a set, it's okay to use. Um, I think a maximum of two five star gems. It'll still be as good. I try to just here i try to take to stay with all the six stars i have get and so get right into these points but it's really shitty the six stars i can get it's it's fine because uh as i said before it doesn't matter it doesn't matter like if they if all the gems are uh are are like flat substats if all the substats are flat it doesn't it doesn't even matter just as long as uh as long as the the main stats are good because literally all you need to do for your miho for example is you just put triple attack on her as long as all three attack gems are six star it doesn't it doesn't matter what the substats are wait how do i how do, how do i sorry i actually have trouble sorting it oh wait because i only keep six star gems i haven't seen like <laughs> Okay, so like this one's an attack gem, right? And then this also has defense percent, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it already has one good substat. Um, you know, you can just put this on her, and then you just grab another one. Like, you, you look at, oh wait, this one's an attack one, and then you just put this in as well. And then, uh, it ha they both happen to be life, so I guess that's pretty good. And then for triangle, I guess it, you still need to find a triangle gem. That's like a six star one. Yes. With, the triangle uh, is the most hard to get getting a hell getting good triangle slots good good, good triangle gems yeah I, I mean uh it's it's pretty easy because all you need to do is you already have the two gems like that you can use on her you just put a triangle one here that's like a random six star attack it can be any type of gem all right it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the life set it can be any type of gem as long as it's triangle with an attack main stat, you can use it. Um, you just put that on her, and then she's ready. You just you have to actually farm enough gold to upgrade your gems to plus fifteen, and then she's ready. And then your Persephone, um, this one you need to plus fifteen. Um, this one you maybe need to replace if you can farm B seven because you need to spend a bit of time in B seven to get. Uh, to get some six star, six star HP and defense gem, the HP gem to for her other gem at least. At the very least, this one needs to be a five star. All right. Like at, at the very very least, you need to replace this one with a five star. Um, if you if you want to put a put a life set, um, but yeah, you farm a five star or six star life set, um, HP gem for this slot, and you basically max out her gems, and then she's ready as well. And then the, ne the next unit, you go to your Victoria, who um, you just need like three defense gems. Like this one's a defense one, all right. And this one has a bit of HP, so I guess that's pretty good. The other two stats are pretty shitty, but it doesn't matter. 
it has HP. That's that's all that really matters. Um, I mean, it's a defense main stat. That's all that really matters. And then you go to this one, and then you just find another... Uh, I guess you don't have any right now. But you go no. to B7, and then you just do some farming until you get, like, two six-star defense gems. And they can be any set. They don't have to be protection. They don't have to be anything. You just make sure, like, it doesn't It doesn't matter what... it If they have, like, you know, flat recovery, all flat substats, it doesn't matter. Like, it, all you need is the, the main stat and she'll be good enough like the i think the keyword here is like is enough like you just need enough to get you past a certain point before you worry about like oh i need the perfect gems or anything like that you don't need to you don't have the luxury to worry about that right now um and then after she's done you know you just you look at your amyoji and then you see oh she already has a uh crit rate gem over here so i guess for for your Armyoji, um, this gem is actually already good enough because this one has this one's a you know intuition attack, and she's actually better on an intuition set because she has the she has hunter, and she scales very very well with crit because of her base crit damage being high, so um, you know she, you already have one slot with crit rate, and then it's also an intuition gem which is which you're very very lucky to have like you're extremely lucky to have this early on. Um, and this one, like, is already good enough, and then, um, you know, this, this one's actually already good enough, this one has crit too, and then you just, like, you can use the other one, the other one has crit, the other one has, a uh, like, this one has no crit, this one has 5% crit, but then you can put power this to plus 6 and it might give you crit, so you never know, um, and then this one, you probably... Oh, it kind of sucks. There's no intuition on the scenario maps, right? No. And no, uh, intuition is... Yeah, it's there's no intuition. City. No, oh, Slumbering City oh, is no, ruined. ruined. There's no, there's ruined. no intuition yeah, in the scenario map. Um, yeah, you probably just have to go into B9, and I guess... I guess for her, even if you use like a 4-star attack intuition, it's still good enough. Hmm. It's still if good that's enough. The case, that's the case. This one is attack. All right. Uh, the after you spend some time in B nine, like after you have the gem for your uh your Miho, and your uh oh, but your Persephone doesn't need one. Yeah, you can definitely skip B nine. You actually don't really even need to. You just uh, I mean, let me think about it. You have two six-star attack, attack gems. Uh, you have a life attack gem. It might be strong enough. I think it might be good enough. If you really want to force it, it might be good enough. I was thinking just uh, just go with the two uh, life attack gems, and then for this slot. Just use this one or something like that. It just doesn't even matter. Like I think it's good enough. Like it, it should actually get you past B10 because you have Persephone and you have Victoria. So all you need to do is get them all six stars. Get this Persephone. Um, you you need to do a bit of B7 definitely. But I think you can skip B9. You can completely skip B9 actually. You need you need to go to, go to B7. Find a life gen that's at least five stars and HP. Replace this one and then you'll you'll be good. Um, wait, you actually even might have one. I bet you have one. Alright, no, no, never, never mind, never mind. You, you don't have one. Um, but it's fine. You just need need to get, like, a life gem that's at least 5 stars. Replace this one. Get all her gems to plus 15. Um, hopefully it's 6 star, but if it's 5 star, it's still good enough. You just replace this one and then get her gems to plus 15. Put this gem on her. Um... Put this gem on her, and you can, uh, I guess you can put this gem on her. I guess it doesn't even matter, like, whatever. I think, and then, I think she'll be good enough as well. And then you, you take your Victoria, you, uh, you already have a defense gem here, so I guess you don't really need to farm B8 either. And then you have a, uh, 
you just need to replace these two. So you need to do a bit of B7 to replace these two gems, plus this life gem on your Persephone. And then you uh, you take your, your Omnioji, who already has... These two gems are already set. This one you can upgrade to plus 6, see if it gives crit. If it doesn't, replace with uh, replace with this one. And then... Um, and then you... You just put this on. You just put use this one. And so she's ready too, like... And then you get them all the plus, you get all their gems to plus 15, all their gems, all their, uh, at her to evil 2, her to evil 3, and then you, you get her, all three of them to 6 stars, max level, and then you just throw them into B10, and I think, I think you'll be good enough. I think that'll, that'll actually get you through it. Man, this is a <laughs> lot of work. A month. Maybe, I guess a month. The, the sad thing is your Victoria is not a variant, unless you have a variant inside her right now. Sorry, I don't get lucky. I try a lot to get a variant by fusion, but uh, not luck enough. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit sad. I guess the best you can do is just use your Miho, who gives resistance, but resistance is kind of useless in B10. So, yeah. Oh, if she, if she had the attack lead, it would have been really, really nice for your team. But I, I see I, there was a there was a streamer back uh, in the day. He he no longer streams MSL. He was called uh, Shino Thirteen. He ran this. He ran a team similar to this, but instead of the Amyoji, who was running a Water Mona. Oh wait, no. He was running. Oh wait, no, no, no. He had a Fire Persephone, but then he he started with building a uh, second Water Miho. There's another thing you can do. There's actually another way that actually will take a little bit more work but it can make your b10 team even faster um which is instead of using this amyoji instead of using her you just you raise another water miho you try to find one that's like triple square or something like that and then you just farm b8 for some, for three attack gems and you just throw it on her but that that's actually a lot of work because first of all you need to get a miho uh, that's like tr you need to farm a lot of mihos. You need to farm sixteen mihos, and then you I probably I have one down here. I, s I see some mihos. She, maybe. Square double diamond. I guess it could work because you're gonna be farming B seven for a while, right? Okay, depending on the gems you get on B seven, you can make a decision. Because you're going to be farming B7 for a while, and the things you're hunting for in B7 is you need two defense gems of any type or any uh, any any set that is uh, six stars. So you need two of those, and you need one HP gem that is life set at least five star. It can be five star or six star. That's those are the three things you need, right? And during that time while you're farming, if you happen to get two six star attack gems of any set. Then you can just throw that on her, and then you can go back to B8 and farm another attack, uh, another attack, uh, six star, six star any set. It does it can be any set, and I, that should be pretty fast. You can definitely do that in like a day, you know. Um, it's just because um, I'm slowing my pace because I don't I don't want to. Maybe I need to skip the next heroes fast to get. Uh, uh, some gems to energy, maybe. I I think it's worth it though. You already have a lot of good monsters. Um, it's like two nat fives, and it you might not even be guaranteed to get it. I think it's worth it to use your uh use your astro gems for progression instead of uh instead of for heroes fest, because you can get to B10 much faster. And once you unlock B10, you have access to to all your uh like all the gem types. You know, you're, you'll you'll no longer be limited, and then you can just keep farming with your team, replace some of their gems because that the team I'm, I actually gave you right now, um, I think using a second water miho is going to be better than using the Amyoji. If she, if the Amyoji was evil three, that would be a different story. But she, since she's only evil two, uh, um, like a maxed out, you know, level sixty, you know, max skill, um, water miho, I think is actually better for B10. So I think you can definitely well, raise another Miho. Okay. Well, I 
cannot get her evil evil tree, but she have one, two, and, and here have a thirty one. So I can Ooh, make she, at she least. She can actually have very evil very two. high stats. Actually, she might be worth using if you're if you want to feed if you want to make her evil two plus two. Yes, that was a part of my plan, Saki. Uh, it's too costly. It's, it's too. But that also takes a lot of weeks because it takes it takes. She needs two more gleams. Plus the fire one needs three gleams, and the wood one needs three more gleams. Yes. I don't know if you have enough gleams. If you have like a lot of gleams in storage ready, then that's a different story. No, just this this two. So you'll have two fire gleams. So I guess you need at least uh. You need three wood gleams, two water gleams at the very least, and you have no crystals, so you're pretty fucked. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it depends, because I I told you the two op your two options, right? You can use her or you can use the Miho. So depending on yes. the time when all your other units have their gems ready, you you kind of decide for yourself. You can ask me again on Discord as well if you have any problems like hey i i'm at this point now you know i uh should i should i use the miho now or you know i'm like three gleams away should i just try to wait for my own yoji oh and then okay can... first farm get some some gems and then decide okay yeah farm some gems first farm go to b7 farm farm the gems like for your victoria and persephone first and then decide um, and then you can you can even wait till like you get them you get your Victoria and that your first water Miho to six star before you decide as well because you'll have Crazy. stuff to work on you just you just raise those two and then you're like oh uh, you know afterwards what I sh what should I do rising to six stars will be a pain in the ass um, because it's too much money if you. If you want to farm for Heroes Fest, like if you don't want to skip Heroes Fest and you just want like more more gold, more uh more astrogems, whatever, then you need like a fat really really fast B8 team. That's like the most efficient way to get gold. B8 is actually more efficient. Well, it's not more energy efficient, but it's more time efficient. If you have a very fast team for B8, it you can actually make make gold or make astro gems a lot faster than b10 with this tree i can sorry with persephone this two and me i can make b8 in one minute and 20 seconds yeah i i, I don't, don't know if it's fast enough um the other disadvantage to not having a very strong water team is uh you can't farm you can't farm the early dragons before do you, you you still get sigils every week right like i mean like if you do story you might get a few it won't be a lot but if you get a few if you get any sigils at all just go into the earlier floors of dragons um especially like when you get to like b4 i don't think it's the weekend it's not open right now but you know before no. the dragon is fire and uh, he's also very squishy, and a lot of p people have like nukers. Like you have the Amyoji and stuff. And your Water Miho, like once you evil three her, she can and you p build her on triple attack. She actually nukes very hard. So you just like you have her max skilled as well. So you can just throw them into and your Persephone. You just throw them into like, and then you throw another water unit in. Doesn't matter. Like I guess Yaksha works as well. Uh, you just throw them in. And you should be able to do like dragons before pretty easy. I think even if you had to revive ones to do it, I think you should do it because you have a chance to get siphon gems. And siphon gems are the only way you can get like super fast, like under a minute B8 runs, you know? Got it. Um, so yeah, if you get any sigils, make sure you do the early dragon floors. Like, B4 is my recommendation, because B4 only drops square. Okay, it's just a little hard because I don't do history at all, because uh, all my energy is put on... On golems. Or, or golems, or... Mm -hmm. 
or making some money. Yeah. Oh, that's oh true. sorry. To evolving on XP to monsters. That's that's fine. I'm just that's that's actually perfectly fine because that's actually what you should be doing now. What I'm saying is like if you like say for example you raise her to six stars and you're leveling her on story mode, um, you might get a few dragon sigils. What I'm saying is don't waste them. Make sure you use every single one of them up. Okay. Um, if you happen to get any, make sure you use all of them up. Um, it's my worst regret. I, I wasted so many dragon sigils early on. I could have progressed so much faster if I didn't. I didn't think like the early dragon floors would would really be that worth farming. But actually you can get you can get four to six star gems starting at B4. My so, first time going to dragons is uh, last month. Mm -hmm. uh, but the water dragon just destroyed me so hard that I just don't want it to get back. I, I think you can revive past uh, the first three stages. You just keep reviving until you clear the first three, and then you get to B4, and then you just throw in like all water, and it's actually pretty easy because everything there is fire. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it for what you should be doing on progression. Um, the next thing, next thing is like I guess, I guess for now like you don't need to worry too much about PvP. You really can't. If you want no, to progress, just, on PvP I just get my uh, hundred and fifteen points mm. to get a gleam all every week. That's all I do for PvP. I don't care. Yeah, that's good. Much. That's good. That's good. Um, it's also a pretty good idea to always do the clan battles because the clan battles is actually pretty efficient. It gives you a lot of gold back. It's a pretty efficient way to make gold as well. It's kind of like doing the gold dungeons every single day. If you're not in the clan, make sure to do the clan battles. It's pretty efficient to do them. Because you, you, it's 10 energy, and you have a chance to get, like, astrogens back. You have a chance to get um, a lot of gold, like, you know, like... Like, depending on how, how many hits you do. Like, each box that you yes. open um, has, has a chance to give you, like, 30,000 gold, you know. So it's 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 quite a lot. Um, if you if you don't do clan battles, you should definitely do them. Just throw in some random monsters, even if it if you only open like the the first or second box, is still worth doing. I don't know if you're new enough to be an apprentice. Are you are you apprentice right now? No, I am level thirty nine, so I uh, cannot get cannot be an apprentice. I am in game right now for. Uh -huh. Three month. Oh, I, I guess um, I guess it's fine. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. Since, since you don't really care too much about clan battles or or, re or PVP, um, I guess that's that's something you can work on. Like you, if you just want to progress right now, um, you go and you uh, you farm some uh, some B seven. Get those tr get those diamond gems. Gem up your Persephone and Victoria. If you have some attack gems, raise another Miho. If you don't, raise your Omnioji. Um, depending on how soon you get the gems. It might be like a week later or something. And um, Also, make sure to do your dailies. If you don't do your dailies, always do your dailies. Because you get Holy Gleam. Uh, yes, I, all, I always do my dailies. Okay, that's... That Holy Gleam cannot, uh, cannot escape. Okay, that's, that's very good. Um... I guess that's all right. I guess the the only mistake you made, or anything I would actually consider a mistake, is gleaming and evil touring your Shiva. Really? This is uh this is not something I would have done. Because if you think about it, we're not using him at all, you know. And once you get to B10 mm -hmm. and you have this team for farming B10, you won't be touching him at all. And then you'll be progressing into like starting to progress once you have like you farm B10 for like a whole entire month. Um, you'll have very very good gems on most of your units, and then you will be like relatively I wouldn't say like super high because a, a lot of people are still kind of like stuck in this phase where they they don't really farm that much like they're not really seriously farming. But if you like seriously farm B10 for a month, um, you'll have like very very high resistance on a lot of your like key units. And then once you start doing like PvP, 
you'll you'll start getting into the higher tiers where they have very high resistance and his stun is just like it never never really stuns so then he just <laughs> he just he just becomes useless like you just never use him again okay got it it's just because it's, he's my first net five i get for uh -huh. heroes fest so it's more it's more emotional i i guess it's see. fine it's fine it's perfectly fine but i i mean like it's it it delayed your progress a bit. That's that's all I'm all, all I'm saying. But it's 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 not too bad because I, I did some questionable things, like very questionable things early on as well. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I, I, do you have any other questions? No, it's it's fine. I get it all. Uh, I I can't ask for right now. All right, so yeah, like once you once you have everything ready and you want to make the decision, like should I w raise my Miho? Should I use Omyoji? Um, uh, you can definitely ask me, like, or you can see how many gleams you have. Like, if you don't have enough gleams to get the Omyoji up, but you can get the Miho to like six stars by the next day or some shit like that, then then uh, it might be better to to use the Miho. You know, that's the you can decide for yourself. But if you have any questions, you can ask me as well. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's it for the uh, account review. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want an account review, PM me on Discord, and we can uh, we can set up a schedule, set up a time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.